Hello friends, in this video, I will try to explain about normal heart sounds and concept of A2 and P2 which are component of second heart sound. For understanding heart sounds, you must know the basic anatomy of heart valves. The heart has four chambers. The upper chamber on the right is right atrium and the lower one is right ventricle. Similarly on left, there are left atrium and left ventricle. Heart valves can be grouped into two sets. First group, two atrioventricular valves that is between atria and ventricle which prevent backflow of blood from the ventricles into the atria. They are tricuspid valve located between the right atrium and right ventricle and bicuspid or mitral valve located between left atrium and left ventricle. Another group that is two semilunar valves to prevent the backflow of blood into the ventricle. They are pulmonary valves located at the opening between right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk and aortic valve located at the opening between the left ventricle and the aorta. Now the next thing to understand is how the blood flows. First, we will talk about right side of the heart. Inferior and superior vena cava empties deoxygenated blood from the body into the right atrium. As the atrium contracts, blood flows from right atrium through open tricuspid valve into right ventricle. And when the ventricle is full, the tricuspid valve shuts, preventing backflow of the blood. As the ventricle contracts, blood leaves the heart through pulmonary valve into pulmonary artery and finally reaches lungs where it is oxygenated. Now the left side of the heart. From lungs, pulmonary vein empties oxygenated blood into the left atrium. As the atrium contracts, blood flows from left atrium through open mitral valve into left ventricle. When the ventricle is full, the mitral valve shuts preventing backflow of the blood. As the ventricle contracts, blood leaves the heart through aortic valve into the aorta and finally reaches to the body. Now we will see how the heart sound is generated. The cardiac cycle consists of ventricular systole that is contraction and diastole that is relaxation. With the onset of ventricular systole, intraventricular pressure rises. As soon as intraventricular pressure becomes more than the intraatrial pressure, AV valves that is mitral and tricuspid valve closes. And this closure of AV valves produces first heart sound. Mitral and tricuspid valve both closes almost simultaneously, which is heard as first heart sound and we often call it as S1. So, if we make a line diagram showing cardiac cycle, this is ventricular systole and this is ventricular diastole. S1 is heard at the beginning of ventricular systole. So, in our line diagram, we can make it here, which has two components, mitral and tricuspid. As systole continues, intraventricular pressure progressively becomes more and the pressure becomes so high that it exceeds the pressure of aorta and pulmonary artery, due to which aortic and pulmonary valve opens and the blood will be ejected from ventricles into the major vessels. After that, there is onset of diastole, that is, both ventricles start relaxing. So, intraventricular pressure will drop rapidly, and the time comes when the intraventricular pressure becomes less than the pressure of aorta and pulmonary arteries, and therefore, aortic and pulmonary valve closes, which produces second heart sound, that is, S2. So, in our line diagram, we can make it here as S2 during the onset of ventricular diastole. Normally, left heart has high pressure compared to right heart because pulmonary circulation has more compliance and less resistance compared to systemic circulation. Another reason for high pressure is left ventricular wall has more thickness and stiffness compared to right ventricular wall. So, left sided valve that is aortic valve closes earlier than the right sided pulmonary valve. So, in our line diagram, we can make aortic and pulmonary component within S2 which is called as A2 and P2 respectively. This is called a splitting of second heart sound which is normal. Splitting is more pronounced during inspiration because during inspiration as intrathoracic pressure rises, venous return to the right heart also rises. So normally during inspiration, blood flow to the right heart is increased and to the left heart is decreased comparatively. So right heart will take longer time to eject its blood compared to left heart. Due to this reason, aortic valve closes slightly earlier than the pulmonary valve. So, there is normal splitting of second heart sound and this splitting is called as physiological splitting of second heart sound which is more pronounced during inspiration. One more concept I would like to tell you about nature of S1 and S2. Atrioventricular valves have large surface area compared to outlet valves. This is reason for difference in pitch and duration of first and second heart sound. S1 is prolonged and has low frequency which we often call it as lub, and it is best heard with the bell of the stethoscope. And S2 is short and has high frequency, 
which we often call it as dub, that is best heard with the diaphragm of the stethoscope. From this image, you can know which side is bell and which side is diaphragm. Few more important clinical points I would like to tell you. Sound due to mitral valve and tricuspid valve is best heard at mitral and tricuspid area respectively. Mitral area is at 5th intercostal space in mid clavicular line. Tricuspid area is at 4th left intercostal space just lateral to sternal border. And sound due to aortic and pulmonary valves are best heard at aortic and pulmonary area respectively. Aortic area is at right 2nd intercostal space just lateral to sternum. Pulmonary area is at left 2nd intercostal space just lateral to sternum. And this is Aub's point at left 3rd intercostal space. Some doctor consider it as best site for hearing 2nd heart sound. So these were very basic concept of generation of 1st and 2nd heart sounds and concept of A2 and P2. In our further videos, we will discuss about clinical correlation of these basics that we have studied. If you like this video, metastasize it among your friends, hit the like button with your hammer, palpate the subscribe button and press the bell icon to inspect and auscultate my further videos.